and this is a tutorial for really the first ever model editing that could be considered model editing before we had to make things invisible if we could make them invisible but now technically we are ed we're technically editing the model but not really anyway open with brawl box because we like brawl box i would like to note that i do not know of any other way to get this result but I do know that it is a nice effect but the downside of it is that you end up with uh, every texture has the model difference because we're going to be editing the motion pack which goes on everything so open up your model or your pack texture data for link. I had this suggested to me. And I thought, you know, I might as well do his thing so that he gets it right. And go into model data plus preview that so that you can see him nice and shiny. He looks pretty cool. Uh, extend all your panels. If you don't know what I'm doing, go check out my earlier tutorials on using this 3D space. Uh, load up an external file. That external file is going to be uh, links motion pack. So fit link motion etc. pack. And the person wanted me to get rid of their shield. Because even though it's nice and pretty, it wants to make like a Marth. I'm not gonna tell you what he's making. But he's making stuff. So anyway, just go to an attack that you think would be nice to look at. That seems like something you could he's got a shield on his back too. Anyway. So do that. Looks kinda cool with two shields actually. Anyway, go to this animation, go to frame one, and go through here until you find whichever one is his shield. It's not that one. This one's looking like it's the sword, this Ken Edge. Um, Tate? It looks like Tate, is it? Actually, if we zoom in. You can see these bones here. I think it might be Tate. Say it? No, it's gotta be Tate. So Tate N is above Tate M. So to make things invisible, just set it to like 0 0.0001. And then 0 0.0001. And for kicks and whistles, 0 0.0001. And it's still technically there. And I don't know, I wouldn't set it to zero because there could be an instance where you get a freeze. And that would suck. Like, wouldn't that suck? Just freezes for no reason. But yeah, so that entire animation now has no shield. So go here and go 0 0.0001, 0 0.0001, 0 0 0.0001, enter. Make sure that all the frames are tender. They should be. I mean, the shield doesn't change size like me, like Mario's fist does in some of his animations. But let's just do that for like the first three attacks. That should be good enough to prove that it works. And so yeah, and then make sure, I didn't do it because I kind of messed up, but when you go to save this, make sure that you save it to a new file because there's no save as. So you always want to keep your originals. I'll put the demonstration, but this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look like he doesn't have a shield. 
if you want, you can edit his hand so that it doesn't look like he's not holding a shield. That would be very easy. Check out my uh, animation modifying tutorial. And I hope this helps everyone. And it's actually really cool. Some other things you could do is uh, get rid of Peach's crown. That was before Impossible, I believe. Uh, you could use this to get rid of Mario's hat, even though really it's easier to do in Project Smash Attacks. A whole host of other things. So toy around with it. It's a lot of fun. You could also make Link's sword much longer if you wanted. Anything you want. Toy around with scale. A lot of fun. Thanks again for watching, and keep shooting.